Hi there, you're watching this tutorial on how to create a grid with PictoChart. Very quickly, why do we create grids and how can they help? Well, grids can help bring order to a layout, making it easier for visitors to find and navigate through information. Step 1. Create margins anywhere between 40px to 65px width is good. It may vary for different formats. Margins help to separate the content from the edge of the page ensuring that your content doesn't get too near to the edge of your artboard. Step 2. Create a box and duplicate to the number of grids that you need. In this case, let's try a 4-column grid, which later you realize can also be used as a 2-column grid. Step 3. Reduce opacity of the boxes so that you see and prevent the boxes from overlapping. Step 4. Another tip is to choose between alternate colors for the boxes so that you can tell them apart. Here, I've chosen black and blue. Step 5. Now arrange the grid boxes side by side. You can select the grid boxes and press shift to stretch and resize them so that they fit the two side margins. Step 6. You now have your grid to guide you. Place in your text and align them according to the grid that you just created, which you can just place below your text as a guide. Reminder, here's an additional tip. Be sure to leave some breathing space between the text boxes so that it's easier for your audience to read the text and that they don't overlap with the text box next to it. You may even use another box as a guide, known as gutters, if you'd like to get more accurate with your design. You can use this 4-column grid as a 2-column grid as well. Feel free to also change the number of boxes accordingly to form your grid. Over here, you can quickly make it into a 3-column grid as well by removing one box from the previous grid and resizing or stretching the boxes together. Well, there you have it. You've successfully created a grid with PictoChart. We hope you found this helpful and useful for your next design on PictoChart. That's all and happy creating with PictoChart.